welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Got our next walking stick here. It is a pretty big piece of ash. Um, nice hardwood. You can see as I cut into it, this whole part was part of the root ball. Beautiful wood on the inside. Just some beautiful figuring. Uh, this part here was all rotted, so I had to cut that off, get down to some solid wood. Nice, pretty heavy, so we're going to have to trim this down. Good height already. What we're going to do is have a uh, wood spirit right here, and then a handle right underneath it. Might still have to trim it for length. The width is a little too big right now. We're going to be cutting that down. So let's get to it. A lot of wood to take off. get down to a decent size but we found two little issues uh, being that it's ash and the emerald ash borer has dug through so a couple of voids here and a much larger one here I've poked around it doesn't go too far so what we're going to do is we're going to stabilize that with some epoxy and uh, and then keep going so stay tuned so what we did is uh, mixed up a two-part epoxy Colored it slightly with a, a light blue, just a, one drop of acrylic paint, just a little light blue acrylic paint. Taped off the areas where, well, I think the rest of the holes are. And we're going to fill it in and uh, hope we don't have a leak somewhere. work its way down into all the little crevices and we'll just keep filling show you what it looks like so we finished pouring the epoxy we did the first coat in blue and then the last quarter inch uh, just with a clear I think it's adding a nice bit of depth to it so let's clean this up see what we have
So I think we, uh, we have this one finalized, getting ready for finish. So a nice look of uh, finish the face, hollowed out a little bit on top just to lighten things up a little bit. Little profile shot came down to a nice handle, really, uh, really reduced that, added a little bit of little detail. There you see the epoxy. And we did a little infill, all shined up. Beautiful grain on this is going to pop nicely. All the way down to a little bit more epoxy. And whittled down to where we're going to put the rubber foot. This is going to pop great with, uh, with some stain. So, let's get to that. A little tongue and teak oil. Just put it in a different container here. Just to allow us to dip it in. Yeah, you see all the all the different patterns of the wood come out now. Beautiful colors.